I just want to take a second to talk about Down syndrome. More importantly, talk about the perceptions of people with Down syndrome. My 19-year-old daughter, Adriana, has Downs. We've had the privilege to work with lots of organizations. Um, I've been a volunteer with Special Olympics for over a decade. Most of her classmates have Downs. Many of the people that we've interacted with uh, have had Down syndrome and we've got to know their families. And it's been a blessing to just get to know these people and love them and begin to understand them more and more as the years go on. I didn't know a lot about Downs uh, when my daughter was born. I admit that. But when it comes to Adriana, I realize I couldn't be more fortunate, more lucky, and more blessed to be the father of somebody with Down syndrome. Adriana is simply the best human being I have ever known. She is literally my superhero. I sit back every day in just amazement by all the little things that make her who she is. I'll watch her eat and just be enthralled with all the little nuances and perfections and imperfections that make up Adriana. She wakes up every day, she'll wipe the sleep out of her eye and give you a hug. I mean, she hugs me every single day. When we go somewhere and park the car, she holds my hand as we walk across the street or through the parking lot. And she's 19 years old. And for those of you who have teenagers, you know that just doesn't happen anymore. She is always happy. And the wonderful thing about her is if you're sad, she'll come over, kiss you on the cheek, and try to cheer you up. She is the person I would always want to be. There's this idea that people with Down syndrome are disabled and have a disability. Um, but really, in truth, they're just different. It's no more a disability than being short and not being able to reach high on shelves <laughs> um, or being skinny and not being as strong as larger people or being older and not being as fast as younger people. It's just different. You know? Sure, their cognitive abilities are, are typically slower um, than everyone else. Oftentimes their motor functions are a bit delayed, but that's just a difference. People with Down syndrome are generally happier than the rest of us. They're more organized and more structured. My daughter is very meticulous. She has to have things in a specific way, and if they come out of order, she makes sure to put them back. That's, that's certainly not a disability in my book. Um, oftentimes, they don't possess greed or hate or they're not selfish. With all the things that are going on in our world, with a lot of the tensions we see in our own country, how is being happier and possessing less sinful nature a disability? Let me say that again. They're just happier than the rest of us. Um, we seek happiness in so many different ways or to be happier. We seek happiness or people that we choose to date or marry. We want to be happier in our jobs. Um, oftentimes people drink to be happier or engage in activities that make them happy. You know? We're always seeking, we're always searching happiness. We're always trying to find ways to be happier. And people with Downs are already happier. I mean, Somebody with Down syndrome probably experiences more happiness by 9 a.m. than you will all week long. People in society have this idea that Downs is a disability. They sometimes look at you with sympathetic eyes and it's just because they don't know. Um, most people that have interacted with or know people with Downs um, learn very quickly that they're just <laughs> the most amazing people you'll ever meet. If I were to put a biblical reference to it or apply my faith, um, we all know Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Eden. You know, and, uh, after they took a bite of the apple, they were aware of their nakedness. They, were, they had uh, sinful desires, lust, and greed, and hate, and fear, and jealousy. 
um, all things that we all possess now and, and which are inevitably the downfall of man as we know it. People with Down syndrome are much more like Adam and Eve were before they bit into the apple. It's almost as if God gives us a glimpse into what man was supposed to be like when it comes to people with Down syndrome. It's almost like the moment they bit the apple, they went from having a mindset and understanding like those with Down syndrome to us, to what we are. And if that's a disability, if being happier, if being filled with joy, if being more grateful and nurturing, selfless, sweet, <laughs> is a disability, sign me up for that.